Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is about number conversion. Number conversion is a very famous problem and programmers normally convert numbers between decimal to binary, binary to decimal, decimal to octal, octal to and other number systems. And this problem is quite common and you can find it on different programming websites and also it is a famous interview question. I am hopeful you will learn a great deal of programming watching my tutorials. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and promote the content. Introduction of the problem. Number system conversion is a famous mathematical problem. Programmers quite often convert numbers from decimal to binary, octal and hexadecimal and vice versa. Assembly language programs mostly deal with binary and hexadecimal numbers. This tutorial will teach you how you can convert a natural number to any base between 2 to 36. Iterative algorithm. I am going to implement this conversion in two different using two different algorithms, iterative and recursive steps in the iterative algorithm. Declare a string variable called result to store the converted number. Initialize the result to an empty string. Loop till the number is greater than 0. Use the modulus operator to extract the digit using base. So this base can be any number between 2 and 36. Divide the number by the base. Insert the extracted digit into the front of the resulted result variable that is accumulating the result. Repeat until the number is not 0. The value stored in the result variable will be the conversion of the decimal number into the given base between 2 to 36. Now let's discuss recursive algorithm. So recursive algorithm starts with a base case. Return empty string if the number input number or parameter passed as num n is 0 and then come the recursive step extract the digit by using the modulus operator by base and this base is a number between 2 to 36 divide the number n by the base convert the digit to a string and return the function with the new n this n we calculate in third step by dividing the base and concatenation of string created from step 4 and the function itself because the recursive functions call itself until it reaches to the base case. Once the recursive calls are complete, the function will return the conversion of the decimal number to the given base. Thank you guys and let's code this question. Hello guys, let's code number conversion program. So I have created an application in C line IDE and created a file in C++. So this is the description of the problem number conversion decimal to base 2 to 36. And I will implement two different algorithms iterative solution and the recursive solution. This is an example. 65,535 65, is the maximum 16 bit number. If we convert it to different bases, for example, binary base 2, this is the conversion number. And if we convert it to octal, this will be the result. And if we convert it to hexadecimal, this will be the result. And we can use this number to print all the conversions from base 2 to 36. So let's begin our coding. So initially, let's define alpha alpha is the numbers uh, we use to uh, we use in the result of the conversion so const string alpha so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and abc abc def ghi jkl mno P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. These are 36 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 10 digits. Total 36 numbers to convert numbers into th up to 36 base. So include string and we as usual I will use using std string using std cout using std cn uh, we don't know cn and l okay now function prototypes let's go be here function prototypes so first function convert number let's say natural number to base between 2 to 36 and this is iterative algorithm so return converted number as string so string and let's say to base iterative and we pass int n, n is the number we, go, we are going to convert and int base, base is the base of the where conversion base. Okay, now recursive function. Let's copy this prototype and change the name using recursive algorithm. okay now let's copy these prototypes and take it to take it under the main method main method entry point of program let's remove this line and change it from zero to exit success okay let's implement iterator first So iterative algorithm is first declare and initialize result variable to empty string. So string result is equal to empty string. Now we loop until n, n is the number we are going to convert. So until n is not zero, we loop. So while n is greater than zero. So inside we extract digit from n so int digit is equal to n and modulus operator base so this will work for any base for example 2 to 36 in current program so next we do n is equal to n divided by base so remove the extracted digit and next we need to insert it into the beginning of the result. Why in the beginning of the result? Because we are operating on the last digit in the number. And if we concatenate at the end of the result, we have to reverse it to make a correct result. So instead of doing it twice, for example, inserting at the end and then reversing the string, we should insert it in the front of the string and concatenate in that manner so that we do not need to reverse it at the end so we use string function result dot insert and we insert at the beginning so result dot begin this is a iterator and one digit and we read the alphabet from alpha at digit so this alpha we defined here and the number this trick is very useful and it will work for all the bases so when we extract a digit and depending on the base it will return a number between 0 and minus 1 or base minus 1 so we we can read the alphabetic sorry character from here and insert it at the beginning of the results variable and once we are done and this loop ends we simply return result and this will 
will be over resulted converted number now let's do the recursive so in the uh, recursive application or recursive function we need to implement base case so base case is if n becomes zero so we return this empty string now the recursive step in the recursive step we need to perform all the things we did in the loop so int digit is equal to n modulus base extract digit and divide n by n is equal to n divided by base this step called remove the digit from n okay now we need to return the function with new n and and we need to keep track of the extracted digit so we will do return to base sorry the cursive and n is updated n and base is remains same and we concatenate new character that is that we extracted at the digit variable so we do string one and we read the alpha from this digit this will concatenate the character we extracted here and that's it over function is done this is very efficient algorithm that convert any natural number into a given base from 2 to 36 okay now let's test them so we can put over test with this number okay so int n is equal to 65 535 now iterative see out let's say iterative call and l see out n in base 2 means binary so in binary it will become 2 let's say this function and over n is n and binary is 2 and let's call for three other fun bases two other bases octal and for octal we need 8 and for hexadecimal we need 16 base and change from here 8 octal and this is 16 hexadecimal okay let's arrange these okay let's test it so this is our output okay let's test recursive also let's copy this and recursive call just change the function name recursive okay rest of everything remain same okay let's test it okay so over output is same for the iterative and the recursive this is same you can check in on calculator let's say we enter uh, we select a programmer calculator programmer and our number is 65 535 so check this this is hexadecimal number this is decimal number and this is octal number here octal number and this is binary number because these are all the ones but because this is 32 bit binary the rest of the zeros will come in front of this number okay now let's test for the base 2 to 36 so c out 6 65 535 in base 2 to 36 
okay we can loop for int i is equal to 2 or base is equal to 2 and base is less than equal to 36 and base plus plus so we iterate and we output let's copy this line and we enter n n is 65335 in base and base is equal to and here we change the number and remain same and this will become base from the loop invariant so this will print conversion of 65 535 in all the base bases from 2 to 36 let's see okay guys this is our conversion so this is base 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 8 is octal and then up to 16 16 is hexadecimal and this is base 10 that is decimal same number and rest of the 36 bases this is how you can use this efficient algorithm to convert between any base between 2 to 36 that is all and you can also one more thing you can use iterative or recursive approach thank you guys that is all for today and i am hopeful you have learned this efficient algorithm and if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and promote the content thank you guys have a very good day see you in the next video